hi a fancy seeing you here it's been a while how are you i hope you're good i'm okay i'm doing good it's been a while it's been a little while um but it's good to be back it's good to be back um yeah it's kind of just a weird impromptu video but i figured it's been so long since i filmed that i was like you know what we'll just we'll start small we'll do something simple and maybe i'll just do a small little vlog kind of talk to you guys about where i've been what's been going on because as you can see a lot has changed um yeah i'm a redhead now and um, i brought with me you know about 25 uh extra pounds so you know <laughs> Things are moving. Things are different now. So yeah. Um, so yeah, let's just do the whole vlogging thing. Uh, pardon me. I don't remember how to do anything here anymore. So let's just get started. Okay, friends. You know, it's that season. And uh, a lot of things are coming in the mail. And one of those things is some new film that I ordered from B&H Photo. Um, Kathleen of Shoot It With Film. Mwah, love her. She's beautiful. Um, beautiful, beautiful human being. She gave me a gift card for being a part of the Shoot It With Film team this past year. And so I ordered some stuff. So yeah, I thought we could uh, unbox that together. <laughs> Or just tear through a package and see what's inside. Let's do it. So I'm super excited. I took the liberty of just buying a bunch of like fun experimental film. This one has like a weird tag on it. But I got this Revlog. It's got um like like um um what is it called? Like light leaks in it already like embedded in the film. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to try this out. Okay, so if you're a film shooter like me, you probably struggle with this issue where you will put film in your bag, you know, your camera bag, and it gets lost. Just like anything gets lost at the bottom of a bag, and then you can't find it. You don't know how many rules you brought to your session with you. It drives me crazy. So, I found this little nifty doodad. It's like 15 bucks. And it's like a little case. And ew, you put your film in here. Hold on, I'm gonna go get some film. Straight up, I'm just opening some film. So we can test this sucker out, because I am excited. See, look. It holds five. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And this just goes in your bag. Are you freaking kidding me? This is amazing. I also got one for 35 millimeter too. <laughs> Let's try it. What a mess. Look at that, that's amazing. I'm so excited. Y'all, this just changed the game. They had one where you could hold 10 as well. I don't usually shoot 10 rolls of film at a time because I don't really do weddings anymore. But just for like going out and about and just, you know, five little rolls of film. Are you freaking kidding me? This is the best thing ever. Yep, this is amazing. Please, please get yourself some of that to your film doesn't get lost in your bag. Okay, and the last thing I got were these two other rolls of film. So I got the Revlog Rasp. That's what the yellow one was. This one is Streak. So it has like streaks all across the film. I'm so excited. This is going to be awesome. And last but not least, I got this double film. Now, I wanted a different one. They had one that was like I think it's called like Aspen or something. I don't remember what it was, but they didn't have it in stock and I was really sad, but I got the next best one. This one also has like light leaks. It's pre-exposed with sun-kissed effects. Their words, not mine. So yeah, I've been seeing this film for a long time on their site and I am so excited to try it out. 
It's gonna be zappity. It's gonna be zappity. All right, that's about all I got in the mail. So, for now. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go back to work. Cause I have to do that now. Uh, hi friends. It's Tuesday and I feel so good. It's the best I've ever felt. It's also the best I've ever looked, so yeah. Uh, I'm on my lunch break right now, so I'm gonna quickly just get my living room all cleaned up because it's really gross and it's driving me crazy. So yeah, I figured uh, you can watch me clean because that nothing screams vlog content like cleaning, right? Well, anyway, at least you get to look at my living room. It's pretty, so let's go do it. we go clean ish clean ish <laughs> so yeah there's at least no more garbage on the floor so that's great and don't mind that weird pile over there with the flowers and the lamp those are things that were on our wall over here and I don't know what to do with them yet because I feel like if they go over there they'd look crowded and we used to have pictures up there instead of a TV and yeah so they're just kind of sitting over there waiting to be hung but yeah i guess since i'm filming let's just look at some christmas stuff so yeah there's our little advent calendar and there's my eldest daughter with santa in 2010 my two older girls and they were not really old just tiny little babies and my absolute favorite Christmas candle ever, ever, ever. We have an artificial tree, so I need all the tree smells. This one's also really good. One of my absolute favorites. It literally smells like Christmas. My stockings, pretty stockings. We gotta get another one up there for the dog, but yeah, another day. And our tree. This is like, I think the second year we've actually decorated our tree. We normally don't because for the longest time, the girls would try to play with the ornaments, and one year they broke a handmade glass ornament that one of my best friends made for me. And after that I was like, no more, we're never decorating the tree again. But yeah, now they're older and they're, they're doing better. And we got those for my dad and my stepmom last year when they came to visit. There's my eldest when she was like six months old. And yeah. And I don't, who the heck is that? I, I have, wait, what, what's it say? To Andrew from Daniel? I literally have no idea who that baby is. <laughs> I've never seen that ornament before. I did, can you tell I didn't decorate the tree? We just like to keep random pictures of uh, strange babies on our tree. It's a, a tradition starting right now. So yeah, there you go. There's my living room. I'm going to go back to work and I'm sitting on the couch today because I really don't want to sit at my desk because my butt hurts. And yeah, that's that. Thanks for cleaning and touring Christmas stuff with me. I appreciate it. Also, can we just talk about the fact that I'm like ridiculously aggressive with everything that I say? Sorry, okay? I'm a fire sign, alright? It just... <clears throat> I'm spicy, okay? I can't be tamed. Alright. Thursday night. All done with work. Don't look directly at me, okay? I'm tired. I know I look gross. Okay? So let me have my moment of grossness. Anyway, we gotta run out to go to Costco and pick up some groceries for Christmas. And then after, we are gonna go look at Christmas lights. So, I'm taking you along with me, whether you like it or not, okay? So, let's go look at Christmas lights.
Saturday morning. Happy Saturday, friends. So, I have a lot to do today, considering that it is the Saturday before Christmas. There's just, yeah, there's a lot. So I figured, you know what, why not? I'll just take my camera with me. Um, I didn't get to vlog too much this past week, uh, because I didn't want to. So, <laughs> and more on that later, on why I'm so exhausted and tired and don't want to all the time. But, figured I gotta get ready, cause I have a hair appointment. Andrew and I are gonna go and get our hair cut. And yeah, I figured while I'm fixing this, I could just tell you about what's been going on and why I dropped off the face of the earth for a few months. So yeah, um, I'm gonna do my skincare and I will be right back. All right, skincare's done, contacts are in, we're ready to roll. Before I jump into, you know, talking about what the heck's been going on, I figured I'd just show you guys what I'm using today for makeup. Um, I got this adorable little gift from my business coach who I have been kind of working part time with helping her on her like social media and scheduling and her website and this was her Christmas gift to me. It's this like Too Faced Enchanted Beauty collection. Look, it's so cute. I can't, I'm so excited. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be using today. We're going to dive into this. Also, I will link all her stuff in the description box because she's amazing and you should really check her out. She also has a master class going on right now that is, check this. So yeah, let's pull all this stuff out. I have no idea what I want to do today. I don't, for some reason I'm feeling purple and I don't, I don't know why. If you don't give me what I asked for, I'm gonna lose it. Give it to me. I did it, I got it. Okay, so, oh look at the packaging, it's so cute. Uh, the This totally reminds me of that like, um, what is it, the Arctic Fox pet thing from the Elf on the Shelf. If you're a parent and you do Elf on the Shelf, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not bothering with my hair because I'm just going to get a cut, so. And she washes it, does all the fancy stuff, so. That's why I look the way that I do. Also, I have had the worst breakouts this month. I think it's from stress, because, you know, holidays and all that fun stuff. But anywho, let's just jump right into where the heck have I been? So, uh, I think the biggest thing, and honestly the main thing, is that I got a job. Yes, I am an independent working woman, folks. Yes, I am. So, uh, long story short, when COVID hit at the you know, beginning of the year and everybody went into lockdown back in like March, uh, within a span of like one month, I lost every job that I had this year. All of my income was gone. So yeah, that sucked. Um, it kind of, you know, I've been pulling away from doing photography full time. It just, it was one of those things where I really love doing it, but when it's a job and you have to deal with really difficult clients, it kind of just sucks the fun out of it. You know, it's, it, it was no longer a passion project. It just became a job and it just wasn't fun. I wasn't taking pictures because I wanted to. I was taking pictures because I had to. So that was my kind of whole reasoning of pulling out of it. And then when COVID hit, I was just kind of like the nail in the coffin where I was like, okay, well then you know what? I'm in school for marketing. Let's see if I can find, you know, even something that's just part time just to kind of get me back on my feet. And um, so I started applying for jobs and, you know, I use LinkedIn, I think for the most part and um, started applying in like maybe April. And then I would say around the beginning of July, I got a call um, and I, long story short, they had a opening for someone on the web development team for this really um, well-known health insurance in the Midwest. And they were like, yeah, we need somebody to basically come in and do website edits and, you know, basically, um, what is it, like coding from, like, um, I am failing words and it's awesome. I love this. Basically, they just need somebody to come in and work in like doing website stuff like cosmetically like changing out documents and images and making sure that the website itself is you know a 
visually working for people and you know that goes with both like accessibility reasons making sure that it's accessible for people with disabilities that it's you know ADA compliant and then just making sure that there's also you know correct information so I work very heavily with like the Medicare side of the website you know I make sure that due dates are you know things are taken down at specific dates and that they're put up by specific dates and so yeah that's what I've been doing and I jumped right in I think the week of my my 30th birthday so it was like the end of August I jumped in and started working on that and yeah it's going really really well I actually really like it it's the most amazing job ever I love my co-workers and I get to do it 100% from home right now and even when we do go back in the office it's not that far away of a drive and it's a super easy drive and so yeah but then not only do I have the job where I'm you know doing that you know like 38 to 40 hours per week, but my kids are virtual learning too, which is just, mm, I don't want to get too crazy, but it's a lot. I'm back again. Wow, maybe, maybe future self, you should clean off your SD card before you start filming. Just a suggestion. <laughs> Anyway, where the heck was I? What the heck was I talking about? These are really, really pretty. They have like a vanilla smell too. Look at this. Oh yeah, I'm definitely feeling these right here. Maybe that one too. All right, so anywho, what the heck was I saying? So yeah, I just, oh, it actually has like Christmas names. That's so cute. All right, so yeah, virtual learning super awesome love it for me love it for my kids I didn't clean off my brush and now I'm really mad at myself because it's putting color on my eyes oh don't look at my dirty room why would you do that I invite you into my home and you try to look at my dirty room that's enough but yeah anywho virtual learning it's it's nuts and then on top of that I didn't uh, I'm in college right now for marketing and I didn't really take into account the fact that I would be starting a job in the fall and that my kids would be virtual learning so I had college on top of that as well and granted it was only part-time so it wasn't too bad but still when you've got a full-time job and then you've got virtual learning with your kids you know three kids who need your constant attention all the time and then on top of that you're trying to meet deadlines for school yeah I Honestly, the last couple of months were just kind of a blur at that point. It was just survival mode, so hence why no videos were up because like most of us, we were just trying to get through the day without losing our minds. So yeah, that's that. But now school is done. I had accelerated classes, which means that they were, as opposed to like 16 week classes, they were uh, 12 weeks. So that's done and I finished that a while ago and kind of got my bearing my girls are doing really good um, they do go in in person and see uh, their teachers like once a week and so whatever I can't help them with they get done with that so that's really nice that's been super helpful and um I don't know what I'm doing I need a brush and I'm having trouble finding one so yeah that is basically the long and short of it had somebody join me. So. <laughs> okay, makeup's done. I got maybe like 40 minutes before I gotta head out to get my hair done. So I figured I'd show you guys some stuff that I got from Torrid from their Black Friday sale. So yeah. Um, also, don't mind the noise. Um, I'm watching the Badger game right now. Badger basketball. So yeah, that's in the background. But yeah, let's, uh, let's talk clothes.
Uh, first thing I got was this, probably my favorite thing in the whole bundle. And if you don't focus, I'm gonna lose my mind. There we go. It's this black turtleneck. It's super comfy. I love it. It's long, so it's great for like layering. I actually got one in like a uh, purpley color too, and yeah, it's my favorite thing. I love it. it. This paired with like a blazer, which I'll put a picture up of my outfit that I just recently had with this on. It really makes me feel like a badass. I love it. Okay, another thing that I got was this plaid cardigan. It has like pockets right here. Um, I love this so much. It's really like, I wouldn't say super heavy, but it's got some like, like, you know, like uh, weight to it so I love it because I feel like it keeps me warm it stays in place it's not constantly moving around yeah I love this okay so um, I got this for Christmas uh, it's this cute little like velvet plaid tank top and then I got this red blazer with it and I'm all about blazers 100% they make me feel so sophisticated and special and like a amazing professional businesswoman but um the one thing I don't like about this is that there's no pockets I feel like that should just be illegal we need pockets I'm gonna be honest this is actually the first time I've tried this particular shirt on and I don't hate it did I need another leopard shirt <laughs> no no I didn't but this one's cute it really hugs in all the right places and the neckline um, yes, thank you, thank you. I'm actually thinking this might be what I'll wear today. I really, really like this. Super cute. For outerwear, I got myself a leather jacket. And I don't hate it, like, at all. I, it has like this, it's not completely leather all the way around, it has like that, like, scrunchy fabric right here, so you can easily pull it. It's not, like, it doesn't feel tight to be in but um, I absolutely love it and yeah it's super cute than than um than last time which I actually don't hate I kind of like it it kind of offsets when I use the um, the overtone ginger that way it's not like super vibrantly orange um, when this washes out about like a week and a half the ginger will kind of zhuzh it back up but she gave me some better bangs because they were getting crazy and yeah I told her to give me a lot more layers too because especially as my hair is getting longer it gets curlier and then thicker and then it's really hard to deal with so but yeah when we were done getting our hair cut we ended up going to this little metaphysical shop in Mount Horeb and I picked up some candles for myself I love it because she makes them in-house and puts like little herbs and crystals in them and then I got some crystals for my daughter's stocking. She loves the color blue and she loves crystals. So yeah, fun little shopping trip. Pretty successful. Yes. <clears throat> Do not be alarmed, I come in peace. Yeah, just ready to close up this video. It's been a fun week. Felt good to start filming again. That's nice. Here, maybe I should hold you back further. Get back further! 
Okay, yes, for real. Goodbye. I will see you next week. Stay safe. Enjoy your Christmas.